In the previous video, we discussed about the basic overview of cell cycle. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we will be discussing about the regulation of cell cycle. We will discuss the holistic approach of regulations throughout the cell cycle. First of all, to see what regulates the cell cycle, it is the cyclin proteins. These cyclin proteins activate the kinase proteins in the cell cycle, what we call as cyclin dependent kinases. Here we have four different cyclin proteins in the cell cycle, the cyclin D, cyclin E, cyclin A and cyclin B. Then we have the kinase proteins that are called the cyclin dependent kinases that regulate the cell cycle through transcription, activation and degradation of many cell cycle proteins. And like we have different cyclin proteins, in the same way we have different kinase proteins too. We have CDK4, CDK6, CDK2 and CDK1. The CDK4 and 6 bind cyclin D. The CDK2 bind cyclin E. Whereas CDK1 as well as CDK2 bind cyclin A. And at last cyclin B binds also CDK1. Here we also see the CDK4, 6, 2 works in G phase. Then in S phase the CDK2 mostly peaks out. And we also see CDK1 at the end of S phase. And in the G2 phase, we get the activation of CDK1 and CDK2, whereas in M phase, we see the activation of CDK1 by the cyclin B, that's MPF. If we see this in diagrammatic representation, we have the cyclin D interacting with CDK4 and 6 in the G1 phase of cell cycle. Then we have cyclin E interacting with CDK E. This interaction exists at the end of G1 phase and in the S phase. Furthermore, we have the cyclin A interacting with CDK2, which gets active in the S phase and in the beginning of G2 phase. And remember, we have the same cyclin A, but this time it interacts with CDK1. And this interaction exists in G2 phase and in the initial stages of M phase. And finally, we have the cyclin B that's interacting with CDK1. And this interaction is found to be in the late G2 phase and in the M phase as shown in the diagram. Now let's see the graph of these cyclins in the phases of cell cycle. First we have the cyclin D. It's present throughout the cell cycle but it peaks out in the late G1 phase and in early S phase. Then we have cyclin E which we see peaks out in the transition from G1 to S phase and then declines within the S phase. Then we have cyclin A which kicks in from G1 phase but only peaks out in G2 phase and then declines in the M phase. And at last we have the cyclin B protein which shows its presence from the S phase but peaks out in the G2 to M phase transition and then declines in the M phase also. Now let's see the linear pathway of cell cycle regulation. First when we have the presence of growth factors in the cell it drives the RAS, RAF or MAPK pathway. This pathway leads to the synthesis of D cyclins and this cyclin D then interacts with CDK4 or 6 and makes it active. On the other hand, we have the DNA molecule which has got E2F transcription factor bound to it as shown in the diagram. But this E2F factor remains suppressed because the RB protein binds to the E2F transcription factor which prevents its expression. But when we have the active cyclin CDK4 and 6, it phosphorylates the RB and marks it for the degradation. In this way, we have the E2F genes getting expressed now. That means they are in the on state. From here, we get the cyclin E, which binds and activates the CDK2. And also remember, the increased levels of cyclin E inhibits the P27, a repressor of cyclin E and CDK2. So in this way, the APC slash C is repressed initially in the first phases of cell cycle, like it remains inhibited in the G1, S and G2 phases. Then in the S phase, we have the DNA replication with activation of MCM. And in S phase, we have the interaction of cyclin A and CDK2. And after that, DNA replication is completed. Now we need to get into the G2 phase where cyclin A and CDK2 drives the transition from S to G2 phase.
now in g2 phase the cyclin a binds cdk1 and at the end of g2 phase there are peak levels of mpf that is the cyclin b and cdk1 which drives the transition of g2 to m phase transition so this is the basic overview of regulation the individual regulation of these kinases that cdk and cyclins will be discussed in the separate videos i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting me work on patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks